Hello ladies and gents. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a phone case using Onshape. Start by creating your project document and then click the sketch button and then click on the top plane. Click on the top of the view cube and then create a rectangle using the center point rectangle tool. Go to the center of the top plane, click once, move the mouse cursor out and then click again to create your rectangle. Now let's give it some dimensions. Click on the dimension tool, click on the side of your rectangle, move the mouse cursor out, and we'll give the phone case a height of 10 centimeters. Click on the top of the rectangle, move the mouse cursor up, and we'll give the um, width, which will be six centimeters. And now we're going to round the corners of this rectangle using the conic tool. To do that, go to the arc menu and the conic is at the bottom of that menu. Choose the conic tool. You can zoom in slightly if you want to. Click on the edge of your rectangle. Click a second time on the top of the rectangle to draw the curve. And then for the third click, make sure you've clicked on the very corner of the rectangle and your conic will be created. And we're going to give this a measurement. We'll leave that 0.5. And now we're going to change the height and width of the conic. So we'll use the dimension tool again. So click the dimension tool, click on the two endpoints of your conic and move the mouse cursor outward. And we're going to give that a size of 0 0.75 centimeters. Do the same thing, click on the two endpoints of the conic again, only this time move the mouse cursor upward and we'll give that the same measurement of 0 0.75 and press enter. With the curve created, we're now going to mirror that on the other side of the phone case. So click on the dimension tool to turn that off. Click on the mirror tool, and then click on the central dividing line. You can see the one that I've highlighted in orange. Click that once, and then where it says select entities to be mirrored, choose your conic. Click once, and you'll see it's mirrored on the other side of the phone case. Now, Click the mirror tool again to turn that off. And we'll click on the top of the view cube just to reposition the camera. And now we're going to mirror these two top curves on the bottom of the phone case. To do that, click the mirror tool again. This time we're going to choose the dividing horizontal line in the middle of that top plane, the one that I've highlighted in orange. Click that once and then click on conic number one and conic number two. And you can see that they've both appeared in the bottom of the sketch now. All we need to do now is use the trim tool. So click on the scissors to access the trim tool. We're going to zoom in a bit and we're going to just click the mouse button hold and we're going to drag it over those two end lines to get rid of the uh, right angles on the corner of our um, phone case. So just drag the mouse cursor over those. You can reposition the camera, drag, get rid of those. And then on the last corner, they're gone as well. Now we can click on the top of the view cube and you can see we've got a nice rounded rectangle that we can use for the shape of our phone case. Let's give that a name. Let's call it case front sketch and then click the green check mark. Now switch to the isometric view and we're going to create a new plane. So click on the plane button, choose the plane tool and we're going to create a plane which is offset from the top plane. So click the top plane and you can see it wants to create that new plane above the top plane. We're going to make it go beneath. So click on in the, uh, the plane menu, click on the black arrow to change the direction. And we're gonna give that an offset distance of one centimeter. And then press the enter key to apply that. Now we're going to give that a name. We'll call it case back plane and then click the green check mark. Now click the sketch button and add a sketch to that case back plane that we've just created. When you've done that, all you need to do is right click outside of the planes and with the menu that appears, go to select and then create selection. 
we're going to move this menu to the side so you can just click it and drag it and we want to make sure that edges is highlighted in blue and change tangent connected to loop chain connected and what this allows us to do is select one side of our phone case and any of the other lines that are connected to it it will automatically select and I'll show you how that works click on the side of the phone case and all the connected lines are highlighted in yellow to select all of those you need to click on the add selection button and then they're all highlighted now choose the offset tool click the offset tool and it will create an offset version of that rectangle on that case back plane click on the top of the view cube and then we want the offset to be inside our original uh, rounded rectangle so click on that arrow once and it will invert and then you can double click on the measurement and we're going to give this a measurement of 0 0.3 centimeters and then press enter when you've done that you can give that sketch a name click on the pencil tool um, and we'll call that case back sketch and then click the green check mark now switch to the isometric view and you can see we've got um, the original rounded rectangle we've created and then the other one beneath it and it's slightly smaller so all we're going to do now is um, zoom in a bit and we'll click on the loft tool and we're going to connect these two faces so click on the loft tool click on the bottom shape and then click on the top shape and you'll see those are now connected and uh, we won't give that a name we'll just leave it as it is loft one and click the green check mark now click on the front of your view cube and you'll see we've got two horizontal lines one at the top of the phone case and then one on the bottom what we're going to do is click on the sketch button click on the front plane and then click on the line tool and the construction tool and draw a line on that top line connecting to the top of the um, phone case click once draw a construction line but don't connect it to the phone case body yet so there's a small gap between the end of my line and the uh, start of the phone case body so I'm going to click to apply that construction line I'll press the escape key to cancel out of that and then I'll select those tools again line tool and uh, line tool and construction tool click draw a construction line again almost to the edge but not quite so it's not touching and then click again and now we're going to switch to an isometric view so you can press the escape key to cancel out of the line tool switch to an isometric view and then click on search tools and type in pierce we're going to use the pierce tool the pierce constraint so select that um, and what the pierce tool does is it allows us to connect lines that are on different planes so I'm going to choose the edge of my phone case with pierce tool selected and then I'm going to click on the end point of my first construction line and they automatically join now I'm going to rotate the camera I'm going to choose the bottom of the phone case that edge I'm going to choose the end of the bottom construction line and they're joined and now we've got two points that we can use to draw a sketch on so again click on the front of the view cube our sketch is still open we're going to zoom in and now we're going to use the conic again so click on the conic tool click on your first point there which we can click now we wouldn't have been able to do that before without this um, construction line click that connecting point at the very corner of the top of the phone case click again to create the end point of the curve and then create the curve so you'll have to click three times and we'll just keep that measurement as it is now we're going to click on the bottom connecting point of that phone case our second click will connect the two conics and then we can just kind of edit the, the curvature with that third click and then just keep the measurement as it is now go to the pierce tool and click on the little down arrow and we're going to choose tangent and what tangent does is it makes sure that lines that are connected follow the same curvature 
So click on the tangent tool, click on the first conic, click on the second conic, and they'll adjust ever so slightly. You might not even notice it changing. And then we're going to rotate the camera and we want to put a line between these two connecting points. Now I could just use the line tool here, but I'm gonna show off a little bit and I'm going to choose the intersection tool instead. And so I'm gonna choose the face that I want this sketch to intersect with. So click that and you can see we've got this connecting line down the edge of the phone case. So now I'm gonna give that a name. I'm gonna call that case edge sketch and then click the green check mark. And now what we want to do is we want to use the sweep tool to give that edge um, 3D geometry that runs around all of the edge of the phone case. So to do that, we're going to choose the sweep tool. Make sure we've got um, solid selected and add. I'll move that out of the way. I'll reposition the camera and then I'll choose the face of the sketch. Then click on sweep path. And then I can click on the edge of the phone case. And I can just go around clicking on the edges. And you can see that that material has now been added. So I've got the edge, that rib that runs around the edge of the phone case like that. Okay. Once you've gone around all of the phone case, you can just give that a name. I'm going to call it sweep case edge and then click the green check mark. Okay, so now let's switch to the isometric view and you can see we've got this solid looking phone case. So now all we need to do is hollow that out. So to do that, we're going to use the shell tool at the top of the screen. All the shell tool does is it hollows out solid objects. So for faces to remove, we're going to choose the top face of our phone case. Click that once and it will be hollowed out. Once it's removed that material, you can click on the black arrow in the shell options and select opposite direction. And then we're going to give the shell thickness a measurement of 0 0.3 and then press enter. When you've done that, you can zoom in and you can see you've got a nice chunky phone case. And all we need to do now is add some holes for the lenses in the camera and maybe some text just to personalize it. So to do that, click on the top plane and then click on the sketch button and click on the face of the interior of your case. And we're going to draw a line. So click on the line tool and also select the construction option. And we're going to draw a line in that top quadrant of the phone. And this is going to be the guideline for where we put our um, lens holes. So click to create the construction line. I'll cancel out of that tool. So press the escape key and then click on the um, center point circle. Go to your construction line and draw your first circle. Then beneath it, we'll draw another circle. Now you could have two or three, or you could put a square to cut out for your um, kind of lens area, but I'm just gonna have two circles. I'm going to use the dimension tool to give the first circle a dimension of one centimeter. And then I'll go to what is currently the tangent tool and choose the equal constraint. Click on the first circle and then click on the second circle so they become exactly the same size. And then I will just give that sketch a name. I'll call it lens sketch. And then click the green check mark. And then finally, I'm going to switch to the um, isometric view. I'll zoom in, click on the extrude tool, click on the circles but instead of adding, we're going to have a solid remove. So they are cut out completely. And then um, if you want to, you can give that a name, we'll call that extrude lens and click the green check mark. And now we can flip that around to the back 
zoom in and we'll give the lens holes a fillet um, and you can change it to something quite small so if I change that to a radius of 0 0.2 it looks quite like it, it's very big and goofy so I'll leave that at 0 0.1 and then I'll click on the edge of the other lens hole um, to create a fillet on that one as well and then just click the green check mark all right so now we're going to go to the bottom view so click on the bottom of the view cube click on the sketch button add a sketch to the uh, bottom of the phone case choose the text tool create a small rectangle on the back of your phone case and you can enter some text so you could use your name but I'm just going to type iPhone and you can change the font if you like I'll leave it as Roboto and click the green check mark and now we're going to drag a box around this text so it's all highlighted in orange and we're going to use the transform tool to change the placement and the size so the first thing I'm going to do is rotate the text so it's upside down and I'm going to use the controls to move the text so you can use the vertical and horizontal arrows to move it around and then I'm going to use the diagonal line to uh, resize the, the text itself. And then when you're happy with that, just click the left mouse button to apply it. And you'll see it appears in a different position. Now what I'll do is I will switch to the isometric view. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to extrude this ever so slightly. So let's just give this a name. We'll call it um, text sketch and click the green check mark and now we can extrude it. Click the extrude button, put the mouse cursor over the text so it's all highlighted, click once and you'll get this really large extrusion. We're going to make it ever so slight so it's just like raised plastic on the um, case itself. So we'll use a measurement of 0 0.01 and then press enter and we can zoom in and you can see it's ever so slightly raised if you wanted to you could go in you could give this a little fillet if you wanted I'm not going to do that it's too fiddly so then I'm just going to click the green check mark and then I can go back to the isometric view and you can see there we've got the um, personalization with the name the holes for the lens and the rest of the camera body there So all we need to do now is give it some color. So I can right click it, go to edit appearance for part one. I'll choose this light purple color, click the green check mark, and we can hide all of the planes. So I'll hide the top, front, and right plane. I'll hide the case back plane as well. So we're just left with our 3D model. And there you go, you've got your phone case. So just to finish off, we could try adding a fillet to the very edge of the inside of that phone case. So click on the fillet tool, click on the edge, and you can see we've got this nice rounded fillet so it looks a little bit more natural and it's not at a right angle. And um, we'll just click the green check mark to apply that. And there you go. So you're all done. Uh, I hope you found that useful and um, on to your next project.